All right, welcome back to Perdido Key Gaming. Today we got some more, uh, some more old games, or an old game from the vault here. This is uh, Starfire. Uh, Task Force Games, same company that did uh, Starfleet Battles and um, a couple other games that uh, I happen to have. This is from, uh, looks like 19, 1980, 19... Uh, yeah, 1979. So we got Starfire, Starfire 2. Um, got some counters here. And Starfire 3, Empires. So there's a map for Empires. But anyway, this game uh, basically, you know, kind of, kind of sort of like uh, Starfleet Battles. You fly around the map. Um, I haven't played it in forever. Yeah, Starfleet Battles, Asteroid Zero Four, Cerebus. Um, but uh, you had a ship. You have ships. Um, you can do, you know, one ship against another ship. Uh, um, fleets against fleets, squadrons against squadrons. Um, but, uh, you know, they had the, the whole types of freighters, bases, corvettes, destroyers, cruisers, battleships, escorts, um, frigates, light cruisers, battle cruisers, super dreadnoughts. Um, but the interesting thing was about the game is that you could not you could uh, you create your own ships. So each you know each ship could be you know could be different you know, um, but. Uh, you know, it had a, it has a whole bunch of um, scenarios in here, uh, and of course, um, you know, huge fleet battles, Terran ships, Pooch ships, Canning ships. Um, you got your probability of hit tables, guns, missiles, beams, um, but it. It's it's pretty easy, you know. Each uh, each type of weapon scores hits uh, from the left, destroying each system in turn. Energy beams skip armor and holds, so you can see kind of the ship system display here. Um, it's kind of kind of far down, but this is the ship system display. So impulse engines, uh, shields, armor. Um, then you're coming in from, when you're taking damage, you're coming in from the shield's armor side, if you see what I'm saying. Um, but it uh, gives a bunch of, you know, you have guns, missiles, gun missile launchers, force beams, primary beams, lasers, energy beams, shield's armor, point defense for, you know, against uh, missiles and stuff like that, overload dampeners. Cargo holds, bulkheads, tractor beams, uh, shearing planes, which prevents the ship from being, a, you know, attached to by a tractor beam. Uh, tracking devices, science, uh, advanced maneuvering. Um, there's no letter designation, and engine units, which are the impulse engines. So, but basically, that's. I mean, you can see how how skinny this book is. Uh, pretty. Pretty basic, um, pretty basic. Uh, Starfire 2 um, still had the same sort of um, systems and things like that. Uh, adds quite a few, um, you know, uh, types of types of uh, systems. That's what I want to say. Systems explains more about the ship control sheets, the squadron control sheets. Um, I believe it added, uh, let's see, general course of play, sequence of play, got some, you know, uh, fields of fire charts and things like that that added on to the experience. Um, more into the... Uh, yeah, it added fighters, for example. Um, so you had your carriers, light carriers, uh, things like that. Uh, a bunch more scenarios, three gun fighters, you know, missile missile ships, things like that. 
uh, Kamikaze fires, the original game um, Starfire includes provisions for constructing your own ships. While you don't see those sh uh, rules in here, it tells you how much space is required for each uh, system and everything. So when you do build your ships. Um, but basically, that's it. Stephen V. Cole, original game system de design. Um, he's the guy who did Starfleet Battles as well. And uh, as you can see, you know, you had played it a couple of times. <laughs> and Starfire Three Empires basically is a strategic game. Uh, adds shipyards, uh, you know ship construction and things like that so you can build up your fleets planetary populations rules about rebellions and surrenders and ship capture and ground bases and alliances um hostile non-player race reactions just in case you know um some new ship systems um to deal with uh, strategic movement you got your mine minefields. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? It uh, definitely has kind of you know Starfleet battles in its infancy type uh, type thing going on here. Alien forces type determinations, super dreadnoughts. Um, you know, definitely. And you got your home systems and everything like that. And I think this one came out a little bit later. It doesn't say. It doesn't say in the back. Nope. But that's strategic starfire, as it says. So, but uh, basically, that's it in a nutshell. You play on a standard hex map. So, in reality, you could use, if you like me, you've got hex maps from uh, Starfleet battles. You can use those. You can. Uh, you know, you even use your own homemade counters or counters from Starfleet Battles if you want, I suppose. But um, very simple, uh, and you know, it's got the, it's got that strategic game part to it. So if you, you know, use a you know Traveler, you know, uh, star map or something like that, or one from one of the supplements for Traveler, you could easily do that and um, make up your own strategic game and everything. So. Anyway, that's all I got for today. If you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. And we'll see you tomorrow for some more Perdido Key Gaming.